Okay, now we will be looking at the guest paper for this attempt. That is uh, October, November 2020. So looking at this right section A, uh, thinking that it would be most related to the part of macroeconomics. Okay, a big protectionist economy starts to open up. This is an article from April 2016 uh, related to Brazilian economy. Okay, they, they have talked about 3.4 million of this. And this is the data response question, which I'm expecting. They have, the government suspended its 10% tariff on imports. And uh, in a country prone to production is folly, Brazil's mandate short beans. So first question is recession because it has been discussed over here that, that they were in deep recession. Then what is meant by GDP, two marks. How bad weather contributes to inflation in Brazil? This is important. Uh, that how one of the causes of uh, inflation. Then explain the impact of tariffs and position on, on trade with the rest of the world with the aid of a diagram. If you know that diagram that you have to draw, in which you have to show certain areas that dead weight loss and etc. So this is the diagram which I am emphasizing on. Discuss the impact of removal of tariffs and other barriers to entry on Brazilian economy. So this is a data response question. Often the teachers don't make them on their own. When I am teaching my students, I will make them on my own. So this is the thing. Then we, when we talk about section B, explain two examples why prices change for merit goods and demerit goods in a free market economy don't reflect the value to consumers. Discuss the effectiveness of subsidies and indirect taxes in ensuring the correct prices for the married and demerit goods in the economy. So this is an important thing that, that can appear. This is an important question. Okay. So not related to PPC because in, in the May attempt, May June attempt to 2020, there was a PPC one. So not sure that it, that might come. It's not certain, of course, but not I don't believe that it might come. This question has been rep repeated in the exams a lot. Explain the factors that are likely to make the supply of a product relatively price and elastic, especially in the March attempts. And it is likely that this might appear up again. So that's why I have put this one. Discuss the ways in which businesses might attempt to increase the price elasticity of supply of the products. Assess whether these attempts are likely to be successful. Explain why the increase in the money supply and rising world energy prices are categorized as different causes of inflation in, in an economy. Discuss whether a floating exchange rate is consistent with the policy objectives of a low and stable rate of inflation. So these are the questions which I'm expecting. One more question relating to the policies that we have. Uh, correction of balance of payment. Correction of BOP. So the GF curve, etc. So that is one thing I'm also expecting along with this. Hope you guys have a good time. Best of luck for your exam. This was a mock exam which I took. Okay, classes here in Islamabad.